Your uncle wants the ratio of flowers and vegetables planted in his garden to be six flowers to 11 vegetables. He has space for 255 plants. How many flowers should he plant? So we need a, a two fractions that are equal on this one or a, or a proportion because that's what a proportion is. And I really badly need you guys to know that for the stinking test because some of you guys, I don't, I'm still worried that you don't. Uh, so we're comparing flowers to plants. So I'm going to put the flowers in the numerators. And I will put plants in the denominators. And we can see if he has six flowers, he would have si 17 plants. And we want to know how many flowers for 255 plants. So for this one, I'm going to use... Fishy method. So fishy method, we have our four values right here. Huh? And uh, we don't know how many cups of flour, so we have the X. And it's always multiply and then divides like these. And we just make a little fish right here. Huh? So I start with the X, because that's where I will end. And again, we're going to make a little fish like these. And we can see we go to the 255 foist, and then the 6, and then the 17. I can plug this directly into a calculator if I have one. If I don't, then I have to do the work, which I don't want to do. The answer to this, if I plug it in, is 90. So how many flowers should I plant? 90. If your answer is written as 90, you will lose all of the credits. You must label this, flowers. And I write this in all caps so that David feels uncomfortable. <laughs> so how do we get 17 right here? If you have six flowers to 11 vegetables, 11, then you would add those together to get total number of plants. That's 17 plants. And that's a, that's a good question. That's where that 17 came from right here. But ultimately, the answer is 90 flowers.